Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Light back here with another YouTube video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing the Bad Batch episode number 5, a Rampage review here on the channel. See, so yeah, another week down, another episode of the Bad Batch. Now we're on episode 5. I think there's about 9 more episodes left, or 10. I'll have to check. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, uh, now we're going to do another episode, another week, another review here. A lot of stuff to impact from this episode. Personally, I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, and I've been waiting for this episode too ever since we saw the trailer. But I'm uh, just going to do this quickly. Spoiler warning. Uh, there will be spoilers in this video. So click off the video if you don't want spoilers. Or come back later or whatever. Or you can watch it. And then I'll watch the Bad Batch. I don't know. But uh, yeah, spoilers for episode number 5 of the Bad Batch. So... This episode was a pretty uh, pretty much a little different. We saw the Bad Batch were in space again after finishing their last mission last episode. And they were heading to a planet where Echo had said that there was somebody named Sid who on a planet who was like an informant for the Jedi or something during the Clone Wars. And he found her. Or he. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Uh, they found Sid on this planet and pretty much Sid gave him a job to get uh collect pretty much rescue somebody from a slave trade on Zygeria. Uh Zygeria is actually from the Clone Wars too if you remember. They are pretty much the cat looking people that are slave traders. Uh we those that episode, that arc was probably one of my favorites of the show. I really enjoyed that arc. So I was pretty excited to see them go back to Zygeria, especially since I saw the tra when you saw the trailer there's a clip of uh, Hunter and it looked like one of them fighting. And I thought that was a sick moment, to be honest with you guys. I thought it was awesome. Uh, yeah, I thought Zygeria is definitely a very interesting place. Uh, yeah, so then, yeah, pretty much they try and just capture this person who was actually a Rancor. And uh, pretty much you take him back and it ends up being Bib. Bib the Jabba the Hutt's second in command actually wants the Rancor. And I have a suspicion that that's the actual the Rancor that died in Return of the Jedi. I, I have a suspicion that it actually might be him. So yeah, there's that as well. But anyways, that's pretty much what happened. And also we saw them get more intel like they confirmed it's Fennec Shan. We already knew that. Us as viewers knew that. But the Bad Batch, of course, they didn't know who Fennec Shan was. So... Yeah, so now they know she's an assassin, or, uh, sorry, bounty hunter, and stuff like that, and I guess they're not trying to figure out exactly who's putting bounties on them and stuff like that, uh, and it looks like they might work for Sid too, which is interesting as well. My honest thoughts, I thought the action scenes were pretty interesting, I mean, I find the Zygarians very interesting, and I thought they did a well done job. Of course, we didn't see the leaders or anything. We, we saw a few soldiers and like a commander looking one. So there was that, of course. I mean, this episode was pretty interesting in terms of just action as well. It, I'm not going to say it was an adult type oriented episode, but it was more... It had some serious topics like the way they were killing each other and stuff like that. And I like that about the Clone Wars the best. Like, per se, like in Rebels, if that the fight was happening, they would like be falling off something or whatever but in this show it's like brutally honest like they fall off cliffs and die or their necks get broken or whatever so there's that aspect i i think is interesting as well as about the bad batch slash the clone wars in general uh, i thought that was interesting and that fight did not like that fight between the oh uh the commander and hunter did not disappoint i thought it was pretty interesting quick little fight kind of cinematic fight kind of thing and I thought it was really well done uh, just a good action kind of thing really and just enjoyable I find the Bad Batch is very enjoyable to watch uh, just just getting to see this this kind of group of people will along with Omega I think is really enjoyable uh, yeah but anyways I'm not too sure where the show is heading from now on, hope, maybe we'll see more uh, like Sid's missions and stuff like that. Because I think maybe eventually they'll meet Captain Rex 
eventually down the road, I'm pretty sure. So there's that, of course. I'm not too sure when Captain Rex might show up. He could show up towards the end. Who knows? But I'm not too, like, I am I can wait for Captain Rex. I'm not, like, too, like, I want to see Captain Rex, for example, all the time. I, I personally don't mind waiting and stuff like that. Maybe till the closer to the end of the show. Because that's understandable. Uh, But anyways, that's pretty much it. My overall rating, I'll probably give it about... A nine nine point five out of ten. Really enjoyable. I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, it's probably my second favorite. I think I really, I just really enjoyed it. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.